So what we have here is a demonstration of a FLIR camera using the add-on profile with a Rockwell Compact Logix. We have a FLIR AX8 um, and it's connected via Ethernet and powered by power over Ethernet to a Compact Logix L18. The Compact Logix is two outputs, one tied to the blue stack light and one tied to an a valve that's going to blow cooling air on a work light. Um, this is a kind of an older incandescent work light, something that uh, historically gets very hot when you use it. So we use this as a means to do non-contact measurement and show how we can use that measurement to activate different outputs and, and do different things. So in this case, what it's going to do is anytime we get over above 100. 10 degrees Fahrenheit it will turn on the blue stack light and above 120 degrees Fahrenheit it's going to turn on the pneumatic valve and blow cooling air on the light until it drops below 120 degrees. So with that let's turn on the light and watch how the temperature starts to rise. So if we watch the graph from the PLC we immediately see that the uh, temperature is rising up quickly on the housing of the enclosure. What makes the AX8 advantageous to a point sensor is its ability to search the min, max, and average temperatures anywhere in the image or specified region like what is shown here. Getting ready to approach 110 degrees and there goes our blue stack light warning us that the light is starting to get hot. We're about to have the blow off valve come on. There it goes. So it blows air on just long enough to cool the light down. And the light is quickly heating up again. And this cycle will continue. But if this were a piece of equipment that were overheating, what we could do is alarm and shut the machine down. So if we shut the light off, that temperature is still climbing and now that we shut it off the temperature is falling down coming under control and in other cases what this could do would actually be a, um, a fire prevention device where if you see something on a machine um, that is starting to get hot to the point where it's um, dangerous even to the point of causing a fire then this little device could be placed uh, on the machine. They're they're very inexpensive and tied into your your controller. It doesn't have to be a Rockwell controller. It could be any controller that uses either Modbus or um, Ethernet IP, and uh, it can be read instantaneously with the non-contact measurements and give you feedback to control your process.